Arma. Design fast, design tough. What is going on, boys and girls? So today we're uh, heading over to Bob's for uh, for the first bash with the uh, Creighton 8S. So this is my first fifth scale. So first time dabbling into uh, into this realm here. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'm not gonna do anything crazy today. It's just the first run, just to kind of give it a shakedown, make sure everything's good. Um, I went over the truck, just made made sure all your screws were tight, your typical stuff that you would do. I pulled uh, the the rear and the front diffs out to check the fluid level. The rear was slightly low. Uh, I probably would have been okay. Uh, the front was a little bit lower, slightly below the cross pins. So that one, I felt like they should have done a little bit better job, but. Always check your fluid levels on your diffs. Uh, anytime you get a vehicle, these things are slapped together and uh, you know quality control is sometimes an issue. So other than that, um, I did kind of take other people's experiences and apply them to my own. Guess you could argue that maybe I should just run it and see how it acts, but um, went through the ESC settings, uh, immediately up the punch from three to five. A lot of people talk about that. It's a big heavy truck. Probably should be up at five to begin with. Um, went through and upped the braking i want to say they had the braking at i think 25 percent which seems really low also for a 25 pound truck so i upped that to i want to say it was 87 percent didn't take it all the way to 100. reverse speed i think they cap you at 25 or at least have you initially set at 25 from the factory uh, i boosted that up to 75 percent so you'll get 75 percent of your throttle or your 75 percent of your full speed in reverse um, could have probably left it at 50, but 75 is fine. You're not going to really drive in reverse that much. Dropped the LiPo cutoff from high to medium, and I think that's all I did. I left the timing alone, uh, left any of the other settings alone, and uh, we'll see how it does. But definitely feel like you need to go from, you know, from three to five on the punch uh, for such a heavy truck. I'm also running two of the 9,000 milliamp hour 100C uh, Z batteries. So those suckers got some weight to them. So with, with those in the truck, it's definitely uh, a little bit on the portly side. So um, let's see, other than that, I guess the last thing worth, worth mentioning is that I went up from a 23 tooth to a 25 tooth pinion. Um, a lot of people talk about this truck being disappointingly slow out of the box. So hopefully with that pinion and up in the punch from three to five, we'll have woken the truck up and uh, hopefully we don't have any breakages on the uh, on the first run here. So we got the two 9,000 milliamp hour Zs in here. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention when I took this apart from the factory, the the, uh, the mesh between the pinion and the spur was really, really tight. So you check your trucks. Well, what, I'm talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> Say hi. Yeah, so uh, I got everything plugged in here. Um, I do have, so I see a lot of people balloon in the front tires with the factory million weight uh, center diff oil. I do have 20 million. Uh, if if that becomes an issue, uh, I'll probably put the 20 million in. I just really didn't want to take the center apart because I know those uh, those actual screws on that hold the diff together are a massive pain. A lot of people say there's way too much Loctite on there. So um, got my throttle trims in neutral, steering trim neutral, ABC is turned all the way down. Let's see if I run it off to begin with and uh, we'll fire some things up here see how it does so and give her a hold battery on eight s we're good got steering oh I, I uh i mentioned i left all the other settings alone let me know in the comments i left the beck voltage at six volts i wasn't sure if the fans could handle if i went up to the uh what the 8.4 volt setting so i left them uh, or I left that Beck voltage at six volts. I think I've also read, not sure how true it is, but also read that it will wear out your steering servo quicker if you run it on the higher voltage. Obviously you'll get more torque that way, but we'll see how adequate the torque is on uh, six volts. First time the tires are ever touching dirt. Sad. I should have brought my programmer in case I needed to uh, change any settings. Shoot, I forgot that gonna have to put ginger in the house she will chase these things all day huh ginger wheelie machine oh <laughs>
Holy shit. <laughs> oh, Bob is right on his ass. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> so here we go. Three, two, one. Go. Wow, coming up. Uh oh, Bob's is going again on his own. <laughs> Gary, jump out of the way. Oh! -ho! Oh, that was sick. Right between the camper and the Buick. Hopefully everything is still straight. All right, let's see. End of the motor. 112 is the hottest I saw. 111, 112. Other end, not warm, 99. Battery, 84 and a half, 85. That one's a little warmer, 96 I saw. ESC, geez, not even warm. ESC 74, 77. 86, 87, and the caps, 96, no, nothing, ran good overall.